Star Trek, lightsabers, Y2K, graphic calculators, what does it all mean? My name's Jeff. I'm not a nerd, but I'm fascinated in nerdy stuff. It's my goal to go from layman to intermediate to expert to supreme leader in all that is nerd culture. Come along with me and learn from the ground up. Beta Boys Media presents The Layman. Learn with the layman! It's a beautiful spring day. I'm here in Burbank, California. Beta Boys Media have set me up with a dungeon master. I don't know much about Dungeons and Dragons. I know there's funny voices involved. I am excited to find out. Hey, man. Hey, man. How's it going? You must be Will. I am. I'm Jeff. They call me the layman. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I mean, you're late. All right. Yeah. Oh, Dungeon right. Dragons. So I just met this layman character, and um, I'm not sure how I feel about him. Man, he's just so... I don't know. I don't know how I feel. I didn't know there was going to be a whole crowd. Let's, hey, Jeff. Hi. I'm really excited about Dungeons & Dragons. It is, a, I think, the, maybe the nerdiest thing. People incorporate Dungeons & Dragons with nerds. So, uh, welcome to the table. Um, I'd like to introduce you to the players. Sure. I am Brother Cornelius, a dwarf bard of the northern towns of Oberyn and uh, Master of the Keytar. Okay, so you are Brother Cornelius. All right, I'm with that. I'm Logan. Logan? Uh, Wait, uh, is that your real name? No, that's my character name. I'm a, uh, a time-traveling sorcerer. All right, yeah. gotta do Dungeon it. Master, what is your, your name? Uh, I'm referred to as the DM, Dungeon Master. Uh, I am the one telling the story today, running the bad guys, running the monsters, and um, letting you so know you're the telling outcome of the actions. The, you're pretty much organizing this whole thing. You are keeping structure. Keeping structure, I need that keeping story, uh, and keeping it fair. And now the Fräulein of the group. <laughs> That's German for ladies. I'm for sorry, ladies. I don't speak German, I speak Orc. I'm a half-Orc barbarian named Yolanda, and I, uh, I carry a large axe. Some of my powers include intimidation and rage. Wow. Yes, Yolanda. Definitely. And? Uh, my name is Vivesha. Vivesha. Yes, I'm a tiefling, half human, half demon. I get my powers from being close to women, and I bother men by setting them on fire when I don't want them near me. All right, I learned who you guys are, what your powers are. Let's play some D&D. &D. Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, this is off a quick Google search. Abbreviated as D&D &D, or D&D &D is a fantasy tabletop role-playing game originally designed by Gary Gax. And <laughs> this guy needs to buy a vowel. So from what I understand is this. So you're gonna um, read from a book and you're gonna guide us. I'm gonna get a name, I'm gonna get a, uh, some powers, whatever I want. You were gonna roll dice to see which way through the book this game guides us. I'm is gonna that... stop you before you continue spewing ignorance. So first, uh, there are limits to your powers. You are not Superman. <laughs> Uh, secondly, uh, I don't read from a book. Uh, the adventure's coming from my head. So I'm essentially, again, just sort of the referee who's guiding the party towards uh, adventure and certain goals. Right. Um, so uh, uh, probably the next thing that we would be doing is creating a character. Uh, when you go to sleep and you're like, oh, uh, I, I'm gonna grow up and be a blank someday. I mean, what's, what, what would you love to be that you can't be because... <laughs> Stopping me right there. Okay. Jafarthus in the Spy Lord. Sorry? Jafarthus in the Spy Lord. Jafarthus in the Spy Lord. I'm like a spy. Okay. Badass, a lord. like a lord. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, so let, that that goes into part B of Dungeons and Dragons. Okay. It's uh, creating your stats. So you could be literally one of the ugliest people ever based on how you roll. Or you could be super oh, strong, shit. super smart. Yeah. I can't choose yeah, how son. beautiful I am. Nah, man. There's physical limitations to everything. So let's just uh, let's get to making the character, though. You're gonna be rolling four six-sided dice, and uh, and we'll see what you get. All right. Wait, what do I look? Wait a second. Okay. Shit. Oh. Rolling dice. It's a big part of this game. There's many dice. Die. Dice. What's what is it? Dice or die? Many die. Many dice. Many sided dice and die. What am I? What am I looking for here? What do I want? Fives and sixes and twos? Uh, higher is better. All right, that's a pretty good. So roll. that's 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 an amazing roll. That's hey. actually a sixteen. So we're gonna write that number down. 
Like you're, this is you being created in the womb, in your DNA. Like okay. you've got one thing, a 16 means you're really good at something. Oh shit. At least one thing. So if you want. So I can choose what I want to be good at right yeah, now? Yeah, you can. Or you am I going to roll for it? You're going to continue to roll and fill out the rest of your attributes. So, so let's say, for example, the rest of your rolls are terrible. You can be, I you know, can be a gorgeous spy lord. I don't want to go the terrible route of, of all things. I want to be gorgeous, but right now, if I want to be really good at something, I'm going to go with deception. All right, so let's go ahead and roll it again. So if you see on the left-hand side, six separate categories. Strength, dexterity, constitution, intelligence, the left side that you were looking at I'm the looking right. at That's the left fine. side. Yeah, strength, dexterity, I'm constitution, uh, intelligence, wisdom, and charisma. So go ahead and uh, roll again. We're gonna be rolling five more times. <laughs> oh, right. so two fours. You drop the lowest one, oh. right? So that's good. So that's an eleven. That's still above average. So you're saying so, that I'm doing really well for my first try. You are doing amazingly well. Here we go. Roll number three okay. to find out my character. There you go. Parthus in the spot. Oh, three sixes. Three sixes and three. Dropping the three bitches. <laughs> That's an 18. You are as good as you can possibly be oh, naturally shit. at one thing. I am killing this You're game. doing great. Experience points. Experience points are a numerical measure of a character's personal achievement. I proved to be quite the experience point master. So, a couple more. Almost done. No one else at the table got an 18. This is, again, really suspicious. So I'm the... <laughs> You're rolling super well. Ah! So I'm the best at the table right now? At one specific thing. <laughs> All right, so there we go. Uh, a 13. Again, still above average. So I got a 16, an 11, an 18, and a 13. That's right. All right, here we go. Just roll the dice. Safe space. Safe space. Jesus. Good God. All right, that's a, that's a 14. <laughs> They're all freaking out because I'm rolling high. That's a 14. High. All right, 14. so you have a character who is above average. I am very powerful in this at... game. Roll porn. <laughs> that's what they called it when I was rolling the sixes. The only question I had was, uh, what weapon would you be using? I'm thinking a boomerang now. Does anyone else use a boomerang? No, you'd be the only one. But if that's really what you want, we can do that. Yeah, I want a boomerang. That comes back to me, but it's not a normal boomerang. It's a spy. Okay, a spy boomerang. <laughs> spy ring. Yeah, sure, that's fine, dude. <laughs> not, um, uh, wait, you, are you underestimating my boomerang? No, man, it's, it's super great. I'm just gonna write boomerang here. Typically, in D&D, &D, uh, you know, based on the size of the die, Right, this shows the weapon. This is her weapon. Um, I guess this would be yours. It's just a tiny little, it's a tiny little guy. <laughs> so boomerang, D6, and uh, you're a fighter. So yeah, you're armor class 16, 10 hit points. Pretty healthy, pretty healthy stats, man. Everybody ready? All right. Yeah. Let's play some Dungeons and Dragons. I got my character, I'm ready to play. I'm ready to beat them. I don't even know if there's a winner or a loser, but uh, if there is, I'm gonna be the winner. I know that much. I may be a layman, but I'm not a son. Well, the party is currently sitting at a bar and, oh God, I gotta get you a miniature. Let's see here. Here we go. Yeah, this guy's cloaked in shadows. He's got so like this, a, is, this is Jafarthus and the Spy Lord in that's right. peace form. That's right, he's, it's, it's called a miniature. He's got like a, his robe on. I can he's got see his, up his skirt. Well, okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, that's, he's got a boomerang in his hand. He's got like the plague doctor he's mask. A bird. Yep, still got the he's plague doctor. A little, uh, a ring pop. It's a mask, and that's what we're going with. He's got a okay. ring pop. Okay. Remember those? Well, you chose the boomerang. Well, I didn't so. choose the ring pop. Will's a patient guy, but this is a lot for him to take right now. I, 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 I feel for Will. I do, because that's, it's difficult. He's trying to run a game. He's getting interrupted every second. Anyway, the party is currently seated uh, inside an inn. Okay. Uh, the inn is called the Hanging Coffin Inn. Is this something that came from your imagination or something that's in the book? Yes, this is something that came from my imagination. So you said, I want to, there's going to be a bar, and I'm imagining it to be like the bar from Lord of the Rings with the Hobbits, when they're like, Yeah, actually. Back in Bilbo. <laughs> Remember that part with those? Oh, no, no. Frodo. Remember that? That bar there? So okay. So there's is that what this bar is like? God, I can't think. This is terrible. This isn't fun anymore. It's not fun. It's not Dungeons and Dragons. It's Dungeons and Assholes. Mm. And uh, the party is currently seated at the bar. And uh, through the doors walks this uh, hooded figure. This man, um, this, this deceptively handsome. <laughs> well, you don't seem to. You don't seem to agree with that stat. Uh, a, a, a handsome 
bird man. A man wearing a bird mask. Uh, the, the mask. That's kind of cool, a bird mask. That's right. It's... I do wear a bird mask. Damn it! Hey, all right, all right. I'm sorry. No, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm currently still baffled by what's happening. So uh, you see this figure uh, approaching the party, and yeah, uh, along his belt are some of the Im- implements of his trade. Thieves' tools, uh, like a, he's got some climbing rope. Um, you know, this guy's decked out. He's an adventurer. Uh, and then um, I love this. I, then, I, I, this is me. Yeah, thanks. Uh, and then uh, if you look down at his his weapon, his 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 means of destruction um, it is a uh, a wooden toy. Um, it is a. Um, Do you not? It's like it's an not L. A, it's not it's a like, toy. It's, you know those L rulers that you'd have in like grade school. It's like that, but like wooden and sort of rounded. Mm, okay. No, I mean you're you're. That's what the miniatures are. You don't sit sit down. So there's no, no moving around. No, you don't walk. No. Just say the words, man. All right, so I approach the table. You can sit. Okay. <laughs> I approach the table and yeah. I say, my lady. Vivacia. Vivacia. Can a lad buy the a mead? We all back off a little. We know <laughs> that's probably not the best move. So the table, like, audibly, just... So now it's just me and Vivacia. It's, it's you and Vivacia, and Vivacia's standing next to a roaring fire right behind her. All right, and I know what I say next. My darling, it's been so long. These other rogues don't even know that we already know each other. You have to play along with the rules. I told you to never talk to me again. Ah, twist. You know me pretty well, and it's we been We were a married years. for many a moon. I wouldn't have called it a marriage, but you know, you're really attached easily, so I would say you are familiar with what I can do, and I'm standing really close to a fire, and I don't care for you. The relationship between the layman and Vivacia, I think, is timid, hot, forbidden, and 100% unrealistic, and it never happened. Darling. <laughs> I'm half demon. I really hate you, and I think so I call over my friend Yolanda. Oh, uh, so now we got While so, this is going on, yes. uh, Logan and I are waging bets on what uh, she's going to kill him with. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> what implement? What, what implement? Yeah. How, how like, uh, uh, slow, fast? Yeah. yeah, I think she's just going to go for the classic burn his dick off. Burn sure. his dick off. Yeah. So this, this uh, how, how tall is your character? Six foot? Six? I would say six, six three. So a, a six three, um, My vision. Uh, sort of like uh, a sleek, uh, Half orc towers in front of you. Time out. I missed it because I was trying to talk to my ex wife. So you're saying a, a whole other creature comes in? A whole other creature? He's yeah. calling you a creature. Oh, that's interesting. Did you just call me a creature? Oh, shit. We're going to back off a little bit. So, over uh, here now. So, yeah. Faux pas. Uh, I didn't mean that to be a faux pas. I thought we were talking about another. <laughs> As half the party goes off to join someone at the bar. Yeah, this is a little uncomfortable. Can I, can I ask you guys a, a serious question? So who, how do you win? It's not a, a winner or a loser, it's it's just playing the okay. game. Okay, so it's just the story. Survive. That's right. I can totally... You're, you're, you're in a story I where you're a complete get my jackass. hands dirty in the story. You are you are neck deep in the story. Your character so far has kind of... I've been distracting it. you all! Wow! I've been stealing your weapons. Team Deception. So it is your intent to try and steal the weapon It from was the... my intent and okay. I already did it. Well, if oh. you'd like to do that, you're gonna roll a die. I broke something. Who's weapon? That's fine. Yeah, who's weapon? Trying. Everybody's except for Vivacious, who's been in on it the whole time. Okay, so this is gonna be uh, trying to steal from the half orc. Um, in, in Dungeons and Dragons, the die determines everything. It determines the outcome of the action. You say, "I want to perform X action," and I, as the DM, say, "Here's what you need to do." All right. In, in layman terms, pretty much, I'm clearly, I want to steal. I'm breaking it down literally <laughs> as simply as possible. Yeah, but to even break it down for the layman's at home, I want to steal a weapon, yeah. and this die is gonna tell me if I can do or do not do that. Alright, here we go. So, uh, go ahead and roll a d20. Uh, so that was a 6. Uh, so 6 plus 4 equals 10. That's pretty good. Um, so, what you see um, is literally the slimiest man ever. Yeah. Um, goes <laughs> and like tries to grab the battle axe out of your hand. What do you do? First, uh, I'd like to pick him up by the scruff of his neck because okay. he's very little. Yeah, he's, he's, a, he's a slight man. Like, Where does it say that I'm slight so what, on this? So what you're going to do mm-hmm. is you're going to roll and you're going to roll your strength and you're just going to try and pick him up. Okay. So this is where the game really picks up. That's right. 
Uh, oh, she rolled yeah. an 18. <laughs> uh, so this, this again, just like very simply, like she's just. So you are now dangling above the floor. I'm not sure how to win Dungeons and Dragons. Still, no one told me. I think I was winning, and that was what pissed them all off so much. So I go into a bar, sure. a wary traveler, mm -hmm. and I approach a table full of people who seem to be strangers, but there's one who is actually not, and that is my ex-wife, sure. Vivacia. Shit gets crazy when I try to steal her weapon. She lifts me up in the air. I ask my ex-wife for help, and then lo! Who is it that comes to my rescue but the sweet, the sweet-hearted man who I've known for a very short amount of time, What's Cornelius! My name? There you go, you caught comes, him. <laughs> yes, he comes to my rescue, and with his mighty tune, He's about to roll a dice that will save me. So here's where it really stands. Sorry to step on your toes. Sure. He's about to roll to see if he can save me. No. I And once that happens, I'm going to roll to see if I can kill Vivasha. Let's get to it. Okay. Actually, well, here's the thing. He's, he's allowing you to roll while you're being strangled. Oh. Thank so the, the power of his music is giving you inspiration. Oh, you're like, oh my god, I can tune. break out of this. So what you need to do is just roll an 18 or higher. Here, Here it comes. comes. Let's do it, man. A seven! So at this point, I'd like to pose a, a question to the group while yeah. I still have him being strangled in my hands. I could either snap his neck here and now get rid of him, yeah. or I think we could keep him as a slave, use him for bartering, yeah. possibly use his skills if he comes in handy, but like just keep him in our crowd just under wraps. What, is, what is his ex-wife? Uh, uh, well, first of all, me. it was a one next hand and it was a mission, okay? okay? I don't know, he got very attached, obviously. Yeah, that a lot. Um, he was charming annoying. and attractive, so um, I will give him that, but he wasn't awful. Vin Diesel plays Dungeons and Dragons. Avid Dungeons and Dragons player Vin Diesel is. I'd actually like to talk to you, Mr. Diesel. I'd love to get down, sit down, and uh, have a cup of coffee with you, and you can train me like Yoda and Luke. So, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, and step in. As, as, as the party is debating, you're no, Emily, the light is starting to fade, but she's not murdering you, it's just sort of like you're, you're passing out. You do notice that people at the end of the bar are part of the spy syndicate thing. The, um, Part of my old spy crew. Right, but the crew that didn't end up well because you botched something. So the, the spy crew that are against me rather than for me. That's right. As you're, again, you're fading from consciousness here. It's just like fleeting moments. You see puppies, like... Smokey, is that you over there, Smokey? He probably can't hear you over the sound of a bar that distance. Smokey. Well, can I roll to see if he hears me? Sure. You need to roll, I, what's your charisma, plus three? So you need to roll a 12. Four. Uh, is it four? Yeah. And then an 11. You All need right. to roll an 11. An 11. To clarify, you are trying to grab the attention of the guy that strictly opposes you in a war that you can In a last ditch effort. 11 or higher, let's see it. It's uh, a fucking 12. It's a 12. Oh, okay. So, Smokey! Again, and uh, sort of with a wicked grin on his face. So who's gonna play Smokey? I'm playing Smokey okay. because uh, like Smokey that. is one of the bad guys. Yeah, and you know something, we started off with a bad foot and maybe we can patch things up and Smokey could can fix fix up this uh, pickle lemon. All right, so everybody roll for initiative. Roll a d20, and then we'll, right. uh, we'll collect that. Wait a second, can we all do it at the same time more cinematically? Doesn't count, doesn't count. All right, more cinematic. All right. Aww. Jesus Christ. Why would you do that? Why? The layman showed blatant disrespect knocking my things off the table. I mean, come on, like this is my house. Huzzah! I got a 15. So the bad guys right. go first. The bad guys go first. Is that Smokey and the and the bandits? This is uh where is Smokey? Smokey was Oh well, Smokey's gone forever. While Yolanda is holding you okay. and as your like your leg is twitching and flailing. Um, and since you're see you're right by the fireplace here, your leg actually catches a blaze. <laughs> so you are now on fire, and as as Yolanda sort of like flailing you wildly, you are literally catching the building you're on fire. It's the lacquer on my boomerang. Yeah, let's go with that. Now uh, your toy just instantly applies. If we were made of metal, you know, it wouldn't. You'd be safe. And uh, that's the end of the game. That's the end of today's session, guys. Uh, you guys all survived. You get a bunch of experience points, 250 experience points for each person. Thank you. Uh, Ten gold pieces to all surviving members. Great. And uh, that was a great adventure. Sometimes the best place is yeah. just the bar that you. So what happened? Used. You died. You died. Uh, you died. You died. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not alive. They don't like you. And you were on fire. <laughs> Would I ever play with the layman again? Uh, I'm upset that I had to sit next to the guy. Uh, he was constantly touching me. He's an idiot. I mean, plain and simple, he's an idiot. 
For someone who rolled so high, he did pretty poorly, which I would definitely blame on the fact that he tried to take the game over from the dungeon master. Would I ever play with the layman again? Is he buying a lot of booze or a little bit? So maybe. The answer is maybe. Um, great. It was fun. Like, I had a really good time. Can I get your, like, your numbers? Would ever play Dungeons and Dragons with the layman again? Fuck you. Wow. Not what I was expecting. They were so nice. Will was such a good dungeon master. I learned so much, and I really think that I might no longer be a layman when it comes to Dungeons and Dragons. I can't wait till the next adventure. See you next time on The Layman. I'm Jeff Arthurson, your spy master. Thank you.